This guide only applies to Windows XP and can be used with both Netcom and Dynalink products. Click on the Start menu and then click on Run. Type in services.msc and then hit Enter. Scroll through to the bottom of the list in Services and double click on Wireless Zero Configuration. Ensure that the startup type is set to click and then check the server status. If the status is started, simply the apply button at the bottom of the window and then press OK. If the status is stopped, press the start button. Wait until the service has started, then click the apply button and then press OK. Then close the services window. Click on start again and then run and type in ncpa.cpl and then hit enter. Right click on the wireless network connection icon and select properties. Select the wireless networks tab on the top and ensure that use windows to configure my wireless network settings is ticked and then click OK. Windows is now configured to retain control of the wireless card and you can now attempt to connect to this connection. Right click on the wireless network connection icon to view available wireless networks. The default wireless network name for Netcom products is wireless and the default wireless network name for Dynalink products usually contain the model number and six random characters. If you have changed the network name, you will need to select the correct name from the list. Select your network and then click the connect button. It will then request for a security key. Please note, by default, the Dynalink wireless routers are unsecured and will not ask you for a password. The default Netcom passwords is A1, B2, C3, D4, E5. And then just confirm it. And then click connect. If you see the word connected on the right hand side of your network, then you should now be connected wirelessly to your modem.